Queen's Dr. Alan, I'm one of the medical doctors. So we're going to be talking through how to perform a urinalysis. So first of all, you need to set up your equipment. Um, so this includes your, your dipsticks. Um, you need a set of gloves and um, some alcohol gel, as well as a paper towel to put the stick down onto afterwards. So first of all, if you wash your hands, like in any procedure, um, and then pop on a pair of gloves. So you want to take your urine sample and you want to double check and look at the name, which is Peter Clark on this one, um, the hospital number and the date of birth. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is look at the colour of the urine itself and see if it's cloudy at all. Okay, um, and any sediment. So next, you want to open the bottle. And at this point, it's worth noting if there's any odour at all or smell. You then take your urine dipsticks um, and first of all you want to check that it is there within date. You take one of the sticks and you want to insert and make sure all of the different coloured squares are into the urine. Just dab off any excess urine and you can place it down onto the towel. It's important to keep it horizontal so that the squares don't run into each other. It is also important to wait for 60 seconds as some of the squares take longer to, to develop. So for example, protein takes 60 seconds. So once you've waited for one minute, you then want to compare the strip to the, med to the index along the side of the, the dipstick bottle. So you're looking at pH, protein, glucose, ketones and blood. So you can see it's a pH of about 6, it's negative for protein negative for glucose, negative for ketones, and negative for blood. You then dispose of the, the urine stick and you report your findings. So in this case, you would say that there, it's a normal urine dipstick. Thank you.